Sean, what's happening, my man? It's uh, Marco from Canada, uh, your car guy. Listen, uh, I'm always happy to see you tag me into your posts and your videos. And um, funny, the last one you talked, you uh, tagged me into was about um, customer experience, top brands, and uh, that one really strikes home. Now, I'm not the kind of guy that, that likes to write paragraphs like all the people commenting on the video. So here, I'm going to shoot you a quick um, on your post, but I'm going to show you a quick video about this because that one really hits close to home for me. Here's the thing: the one I've been this business a long time. Uh, and I like to dissect things to a microscopical level. So let's talk about customer experience. The customer experience is uh, derived from the interaction between the two individuals. You have the salesperson and you have the, the client right here. So what makes the salesperson go above and beyond for their client to the point where they create that positive experience and a positive, um, um, positive uh, interaction um, and everything else to a point where they're so they're so good at their job They've done such a good job being um, uh, Giving this client a positive experience that even if there is something minor that goes wrong with everything The customer is willing to overlook that and that's happened to everybody. Let's be serious if you have a really nice waitress at a restaurant and your steak comes out instead of medium rare, it comes out rare or, or burnt or whatever the case might be. You're not going to blame the waitress if she's been or he's been absolutely amazing. A peach went above and beyond, took it off the bill, whatever the case might be. You're not going to blame the entire establishment um, because of that one small mistake, especially if that person's been really, really good to you. So what does this all come down to? To me, it comes down to pride of, uh, of the salesperson. What do I mean by pride? If the salesperson is proud to be working where they're working, it's gonna take those few extra steps to make their experience positive. If they're not happy to be there and they're not proud of where they're working, they're not gonna go the extra mile to ensure the customer's experience is above uh, and beyond. Actually, as a matter of fact, they're probably gonna do the bare minimum, okay? Consider this when you got your first, very first job, you worked by the hour, you were getting paid minimum wage, but with me it was at a grocery store making less than $7 an hour, um, my work ethic has always been good, but let me tell you, like at $7 an hour, um, if my boss yelled at me or whatever the case might be, that day, instead of not taking my half hour lunch and cutting it short to 20, because that's what kind of person I was and I still am, uh, I would actually take my full half an hour of lunch, right? So, um, pride and pride. How do you build pride in a, um, a salesperson or whoever works with you? You built by unifying your team. How do you unify your team? Well, it's simple, you create culture. If you can create culture at a dealership, that's how you really nail it. Um, now, it, it, um, one of the top brands on that chart was obviously Porsche. Um, I worked for Porsche, and uh, I gotta tell you, I, I left Porsche because of uh, different reasons. Part of it was because I, I was more involved with the pre-owned side, not the new side, so um, very different challenges, I would say, huge, the night and day in the difference of challenges and I was offered a management position at the time so that's why I left but the people that are working on the new car side are still working and they're it's an honor for them to be working selling brand new Porsches it's a pinnacle when you get to that point the same thing for me at Audi right now I love the brand um, and and I love working here uh, and I am blessed and I am happy that I'm with the team that I'm proud of and most importantly, there is a very strong culture in my dealership. What do I mean by a strong culture is, uh, you know, we go out to watch baseball games. Uh, um, we go to uh, dinners out every now and then. We're going to go to a Na uh, Niagara Falls trip with all the all the staff members. Um, we see each other outside of work. Uh, our girlfriends know each other. Um, you know, it's just that you're proud of where you're working. So that's when you really, your personal life and your work life can can meet and and live in um live together like drive on the same on the same highway together parallel to each other um that's an aspect of of being proud of where you work right your 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 social life your your life outside of the dealership or your work or your office wherever it uh, means lines up with your work life um and you know you go for dinner and uh with your family and they say that's marco he's a car salesman no i'm not a car salesman i sell audis for a living it's a big difference i'm proud of that um, so really what it comes down to, it's not, the manufacturers have a, 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 a bit of a, a bit to blame for, as you mentioned, um, because they've, you know, they've, they've kind of scaled back. They're not putting the money out towards the teams. 
and uh, to, to build to team building activities at a dealership level. They leave it up to the to the management of the dealership and the management of the dealership. But a lot of dealership, especially a lower end brand or an up and coming brand like Genesis, they're not going to spend the money um, to build that kind of um, community in, in within the dealership. So, if we were to dissect this once again, it really what makes the how do we make the clients happy? Well, step number one: create culture. Create culture at a dealership. Keep your keep your um, salespeople, your your the people working for you happy, and they're gonna go above and beyond to make their customer happy. And realistically, the other thing that's gonna help you with, which is huge, and you can't put a price on it, it's uh, retention of your staff. So your staff doesn't turn around as often as much. Uh, and that was a big thing that I did when I was uh, a sales manager. Is I created that culture. We went out go karting. We had fun. It was a, a fun environment to uh, to work. It was fun. And profitable at the same time that's the key element here because it can be as fun as you want but if you're not making money then there's no point in doing it so create culture um, and you're not gonna have the staff turn around as much uh, because people you know what even if they get paid five thousand dollars less a year than the next guy next door is willing to offer them to go work for them but guess what they're still gonna pick to work for you um, because the money is there's a point in time and uh, uh, where the money doesn't mean as much uh, and if you create a strong culture that's exactly what's gonna happen anyways quick video for you man I hope you're doing great I love your work as always um, and I really just wanted to take a, you know about 10 minutes out of my day like you do with your uh, uh, five ten minutes with Sean and uh, and and to share share my uh, opinion and uh, I'd love to see the reaction of other people on this thread and see what they think of this. So, but for now, cheers.